So you're looking for ways to make your flutter app secure, you're in the right place. I'll walk you through 7 ways to make your flutter app more secure. According to the OWASP top 10, these were the most critical security risks in 2024. You can check them and see the recommendations, the link is in the description. This test was created taking these recommendations into account. Number 1. Do not trust client. Now what does that mean? Basically, do not process anything that requires validation on the app and tell your server the result. For instance, don't save your user's permissions into the app and send it back to the server when necessary. Doing this is the same as asking people if they are guilty and trusting them as a judge. This doesn't make any sense, right? So don't do that. This is madness. It's madness, I tell you, for the love of God, Monica, don't do it! It can easily be manipulated. Make all the verifications on the server side. Number 2. Never ever keep any keys or secrets in a client app, such as a mobile app. SQL passwords, API keys, just no. You wouldn't believe how easy it is to do reverse engineering and get the variables you saved in the package. Don't handle anything on the app that requires them. Rather, let your backend deal with this stuff. Number 3. Use SSL. In fact, always use SSL. Without it, the communication can be intercepted because there is no encryption. Your login credentials and all the other communication would become invulnerable. Also, use certificate pinning if you can handle it. Certificate pinning assures that the communicated website is actually your website. In the man in the middle attack, the attacker can imitate your website using another SSL certificate and steal your client's data. Pinning makes sure that the SSL certificate is the real one. Keep in mind that this method requires regular updates and careful monitoring of the certificate changes. Number 4. Use obfuscation. Remember the time I told you how easy it is to do reverse engineering? Well, let's make it harder. Using obfuscation makes reverse engineering significantly harder, but most certainly not impossible. Still it's a good practice and very easy to use. Number 5. Properly store the crucial data. First of all, do not store user passwords to perform autologging or any other purpose, even encrypted. Instead, get access tokens from your server and store that. And where you should store it? No, certainly not the shared preferences. Key store and keychain. The iOS and Android have built-in systems for storing data securely. The Flutter Secure Storage is a good package to use these two. Number 6. Use local authentication if necessary. If your app contains sensitive data, you might want to protect it. That's when the local authentication kicks in. With the local authentication Flutter package, your users can protect the app from opening by anyone by asking for the screen lock or biometrics. Remember, this is only a local authentication, so don't rely anything with it on the server side. Number 7. Use jailbreak and root detection if possible. Jailbroken or rooted devices come with a lot of security risks, making attackers' job much, much easier. So if it's possible, use detection tools to stop your app from running or limit functionality in a risky environment. Some tools can also detect other security risks, such as app tampering, which is unauthorized modification on your app. Bonus: You can use Firebase App Check to prevent app tampering. This service uses a variety of tools, such as Google Play Integrity and App Attestation, and creates a unique token. You can later verify that token on the server side to make sure you are communicating with an unmodified version of your app. A tutorial about it is on my website, so check the description for this. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for future videos. Thanks for watching, wishing you a healthy day.